coffee and empties, y'all. Uh, <laughs> between finishing up Diva Claws in the month of January, just rolling by. Um, this is probably from about the 20th of Diva Claws in all of January. I'm going to have to break this in two. So let me take a sip and let's get started. Starting first with Midnight Leaves. This is one of the ones that came off of my homeworks uh black friday order you all the scent notes really intrigued me this one had mahogany woods fallen leaf cinnamon and apple and you know i say homeworks can be hit or miss with the throw Ooh, this one threw um think of bath and body works apple but sexier think about bath and body works mahogany apple but a little more on the jazzy sophisticated side um more authentic woodsy apple cinnamon scent i i mean if this one come back i would definitely grab another and then we have this one y'all probably seen for like the past few days on instagram i loved it so much that i was trying to hoard it like i would burn it three hours then put it out in the morning and then it came back at night and burned it again. And then I just started letting it be in a nighttime burn because, again, it was so sophisticated, so jazzy. You have the white birch, the fir balsam, the crisp winter air. This was very herbaceous. This is this is what white birch, that birchy tree bark, um, you got all of it. And then you got that sappy, pungent balsam. And then the crisp air, I figured, just toned it some so it won't be full on forest like again very adultish very sophisticated wasn't mad at that at all um this one came from there as well and then over here we have the christmas tree cupcake that at marshall's this was 16.99 and i understand it goes off of the base price so this would be considered a steal based on the original price but to be honest it wasn't even worth that um the whipped buttercream the shortbread sprinkles warm vanilla Again, this might be for one of these, again, I always say your new built homes and things that don't have, you know, just other scents in the air because this one did all of nothing even back here in the beauty room. So I don't think if this was even $8, I would pick it up. Maybe on the warmer, I don't know, but mm, it's a no. But what's a yes is this lake side foliage. Let's get into it. Y'all, when I tell y'all this thing smelled like fall at the lake fall sitting on the deck of the lake house while the foliage is just falling it's just floating into the lake you got a rocking chair out there you got a wooden chair out there almost like a hallmark fall movie but nonetheless it was a baddie it threw and it performed well now this one had uh lakeside air golden birch red oak and mahogany it did just that if you're not a woodsy tree lover then i will stay away from that because that pitched a 10 out of 10. now on all these midnight leaves is the one that had the drunken love wicks and y'all saw me on instagram talking about that now the rest of these had no issues with but that one mm, side eye you back here in the department of the personal care the lavender sandalwood y'all know i love sandalwood the mind body scrub totally complete and i like the grainy scrubs again y'all the uh, aromatherapy scrubs with the sugar and the oil you have to mix i love our uh sugar scrubs i love the exfoliating ones i don't because i just don't see where they do anything at and then we have a love rose lavender y'all know i run through these like tomb raiders because i take baths then i get up and i shower off another old that i broke out the tea tree and peppermint this cold flu season, even if you never, if you didn't suffer with a cold or flu, we like fragrances. And I always say, have something eucalyptus or minty in your bath as your last step just to clear your airways. And this actually was a creamy scrub. I wish I had stocked up on this on SAS because this was nice. Um, another nice product that we don't talk about enough, and that's these cleansing mousse. Y'all. I'm okay with shower gels. I tell y'all that because I use my shower gels as bubble bath. But if I had my pick, 
moisturizing body wash would always be one and these uh cleansing mousse would be two i fell in love with cleansing mousse uh nivea used to make them and they used to give us two dollar off coupons so when harris Teeter had super double we would get four dollars off a can of nivea body mousse making them like 49 cents and I would just rock up or, you know, stack up on the men, women, one. I ever did love them. And when I started working at Victoria's Secret, we carried them as well. This is the first one that I ever caught from Bath and Body Works. And when I tell y'all, it leaves your skin silky. It leaves your skin smooth. It doesn't dry you out. If you are a person that shave, I can see you shaving with this. Or if you shave with some kind of shave oil, then sealing your skin with this. 10 out of 10 combination. And then Lake Side Citrus, y'all. That's my scent that I've been finishing up since, I want to say about December. I, I made a several combinations with them. And I'm the kind of person, I don't stop until I finish whatever set I pulled down. So in my next empties, you're going to see the rest of the pieces and the combinations for these. And then the end of January, February, you'll move into my, technically my February scent. I'll just be starting it early. And very sexy C. This had that bergamot. This had that neroli. This was very, very summer-like. The reason why I broke it out and I was still wearing it because I was combining it with this. I was combining the citrus scents and the lotions with this and it served and it carried. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Tom Ford, uh, not the Portofino, the other blue one. Yeah, the other blue one. But these together, even in the fall and winter, when I tell you I got so many compliments, I got so much. And y'all, she's empty. Now y'all talking about a pretty mauvey, pinky, purple with a brown liner. You can rub on and leave matte. Doesn't dry your lips out. You can gloss over it if you want to, but it really don't need it. I've sharpened this pencil to the fairly well stage. Baby, y'all can see there's nothing in it. What color is it? Nothing but NARS Pussy Control. Mm hmm That's the name. Pussy Control. And I got several compliments, so shit, it was on to something. <laughs> Skincare. My In the Deep Vitamin A Retinol Serum. Um, peptides and ceramides as a moisturizer on your face at night will be the best thing ever. If you can't really handle retinol, then I would say get a retinol complex. Make sure you got some ceramides in there. Help tighten the skin, help with crow's feet, help with moisture as always your last step. Remember, you apply your face products on from thinnest to thickest. So my serums would go pat on first, and then this would be my lock on moisturizer. This wasn't a daytime one. This was a nighttime because it does contain retinol. So you want to watch retinol in the sun and the UV rays. Although it's winter outside, yes, UV rays are still outside. This is why we still wear sunscreen even in the winter, people. Okay. And then the Peach and Lily Glass Refining Serum. I did like this, y'all. I did like it. I felt like it gave my skin um, a texture boost. I felt like it gave it some moisture. Where I have a hard time repurchasing this one because my L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid with the caffeine mix and then Olay even makes a 10-in-1 that I've been using. I think I like those better for half the cost, to be honest. Again, it was nice. If I find a nice sale at Ulta, because I got this with the other piece, buy one, get one free. So 50 for two pieces, I can dig that. By just 50 for one, I can't say. I, I really can't say that I would buy this $50 for one. And I have no problem buying expensive skincare if it's good. You only know if you try. And I like to do 90 days with a product. This, I got a little more than 90. Again, I'm not saying it don't work, but I know things that work just as comparable. And then we have one of my favorites, the Born This Way. Um, this is the original formula that they came out with. This one was the medium to buildable. It wasn't really matte. It, to me, is perfect for combination skin, especially this time of year. When the weather is cooler outside, your skin tends to get drier, and I do not prefer a matte look. 
I will prefer a dewy look and I will pat my face all day before I wear matte casket makeup. And this has always done it for me. And I'm in the shade Chestnut. And I have an arsenal of pictures in my phone, y'all, with what colors I wear. And yes, I am the person in the summertime. My color is going to change some. And then Sunrise Woods. This packaging, I think this is from the 2021 collection. So that's what I'm saying. It's time to use your stuff. You got the sandalwood, the berries, the cashmere. This is what I combined it with. I smell good. That's all I have to say about that. And back here, I'm so sad. I finished this restful moon. The patchouli, the sandalwood, the vanilla as a linen spray. You all these have more than one use, and I don't think people really recognize this. A linen spray on your bed at night. Missed it in the shower while the steam is going. Mm -hmm. You can mist it on your body and rub it in because it is an essential oil mist. And when it gets down to the end like this, I crack the top off and I put it in my diffuser. The Mr. Diffuser that sits by my bed to relax me at night now when you do that remember these tops aren't resealable so i only crack it when i have just a little tad bit left okay. mountain teak wood room spray done y'all know i'm easy on those and then we got moonlit flurries hand soap that was a baddie it kind of reminded me of well i don't remember right now but it reminded me of a candle we had last year Sandalwood, clove, vanilla, can't go wrong with it. And I think I got this for a dollar and change, sass of 2022. And then blueberry donut at the kitchen sink. I like certain scents at certain sinks. Blueberry, vanilla, sugar, can't go wrong with that, y'all. Got a perfume empty. We got some body care empties. And I'ma see y'all on the next video. Bye.